Welcome to Dark Horizon Creations. I'm Mike. This time we're taking a look at the Transformers Studio Series Crosshairs by Hasbro. Now if you hadn't already, please follow, like, and subscribe to my social media accounts on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Don't forget to hit that bell icon so you get a notification of when I post new content. Alright, so this time we're taking a look at the Deluxe Crosshairs. The Transformers Studio Series assortment. This is from Transformers The Last Night. Crosshairs is one of my favorite Autobots from the Transformers live action franchise. I almost like him better than I do Ironhide. He's a very complex character. He has a very sarcastic personality. And he seems to prefer operating alone. And I really like that. The other cool thing about Crosshairs is his appearance. His car parts form a trench coat around his body concealing a pair of of blasters that he double wields in battle. So let's take a look at the action figure up close so you guys can see the attention to detail on that head sculpt, a lot of molded detail there. Blue paint apps for the eyes, red paint apps on those goggles that he has. You can see I've begun repainting this action figure. It already had some gunmetal paint apps on the torso and arms and it's got gold paint apps on some of the uh, different mechanical parts there. You can see the trench coat parts which can pivot in and out. All the way around, it's a really cool action figure. You can see his backpack, is, I've got it kind of angled out. These panels form part of the trench coat. You can actually pop this off. It's on a plastic ball joint which will remove the backpack altogether. It'll just leave this part up here and the panels on the side and just a really cool looking action figure as far as articulation his head is on a ball joint the movement is impeded by the collar of the trench coat here forward and lateral movement at the shoulder again it's impeded by his shoulder armor here that you see no bicep rotation because of that single jointed elbow and it will angle out. He's got elbow rotation there. His hands will pivot in because of the transformation process, but they won't rotate. Torso doesn't rotate. Forward and lateral movement and the thigh, thigh rotation. He actually has what you could consider a double jointed knee, but that's part of the transformation process. His foot is on a ball joint. They can pivot and roll. So he has a decent amount of articulation. Now let's talk about accessories. He does include his blasters. A lot of nice molded detail on there. And he can dual wield these. And you can get him into just about any kind of pose that you wish with his weapons. Now, for those curious about the height of crosshairs, he stands approximately five and one quarters of an inches tall. Okay, let's talk about transformation. Transform crosshair. I'm gonna come back here and lift up this backpack section, spread those panels out, get them out of the way. And mine just popped off. So what you want to do is just go ahead and unfold all of that and pop it back into that ball joint. Like so. I'm gonna come down here to his feet and I'm going to rotate rotate in Let's see yeah like this it's got all kind of parts falling off
these are just held on with a friction tab so there's no pin holding those parts on you go ahead and fold his hands in get that out of the way and you can go ahead and bring his arms back here and what they're going to do is they're actually going to rotate up like this keep that straight and you want them to kind of be angled out like that move these panels out of the way because you're going to take his knees and collapse them in like that roll it back over and this section right here is going to come up might be all the way up it's gonna go now I think I got as far up as it's gonna go back panel section is going to I'm supposed to rotate all the way around These side panels are going to stay out of the way while you bring that down and tab that part of the body together. There's a tab right there and up here that these are going to go into like that and then these panels will come over here whatever reason I'm having a lot of difficulty transforming this one getting these parts aligned as they should be. Now, there we go. And the side panels will just come in and tab in on the side. 
like that. And just rotate down, tab in there, come back here, and tab in his arms under there. And we're going to bring this entire rear assembly down. It's going to go in there. And I just noticed that mine is missing the spoiler. And there is Crosshair's Transform that I managed to find his spoiler. It was in the bottom of the box. That is one nice looking toy. I do like this Transformer. It is one of my favorite that they have ever produced. Also included in the packaging is this mini dio and display that you can set him on, fold it out like this. That looks really cool. Overall, this is a really nice collectible. The accessories, the articulation, the attention to detail, the paint apps, the transformation process, all of it make this a really fun transformer to collect and play with. If you don't have crosshairs in your collection, you need to get him today. The Transformers Studio Series Deluxe Crosshairs by Hasbro.